This is Appetite for Life. Waterbury, Vermont is the picturesque place where I designed my own flavor at Ben & Jerry's ice cream and tried to master the art of glass blowing. It's also where I met Paul Brown, the man behind the Cold Hollow Cider Mill, the last place in the world you want to be if you're an apple. Oh boy. Oh, this is it. This is the nerve center. Now, Andrew, these guys are cider pressers extraordinaire. And Beautiful. they are going to be the ones to coach you through a session. And you're going to be the one making the cider. I love that Whoa, baby. All right. You ready? I'm ready. Oh, yeah. Take this one here and just flip it over. Okay. Press goes on. And we put another cheesecloth on. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, this is just fantastic looking. Yeah. I mean, already it's just. Yeah, we get like 300 gallons out of that when we're, when we're done. That's incredible. We should do a stops. Why don't you hit the hydraulics and start both that stuff yep, flowing? Oh yeah, yep. baby. Yep. Well, it doesn't get any fresher than that, does no, it? No, it doesn't. And you're not done yet. Okay. We're gonna go make some of our famous cider donuts. I love that. And obviously, because they're called cider donuts, you need what, cider. You need cider. Yeah. So, oh, we take the cider right off the press. That is very impressive. Now this is the famous donut counter. How many donuts do you sell a day here? Well, it depends on the day. Our, yeah. peak, our peak time for donut making is Columbus Day weekend. Those days we will sell about 12,000 donuts a day. Why? You're lying. 12,000. The cider donut recipe is 35 years old. It's a secret recipe. Right. It's locked in a vault somewhere. Do I need to avert my eyes? So what we're doing here is uh, you want to get the spices mixed with the cider sure, first, so sure. everything's all even. Now here's your dry mix. All right, just all measured for me already in a bag. Pre-measured. So yeah. that, well, you know, so when we take the recipe. No, you don't want the recipe. No, 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 no. In the hopper it goes. All righty. A lot of people say, "Oh, was that fat or lard you're cooking them in?" We actually use a soy-based vegetable shortening making this quite possibly the healthiest donut you can get. What fun is that? It is a donut. <laughs> Anytime you're ready, you can flip the switch and start the donuts are coming. Well, we might as well let the games begin. And look at how beautiful the rise is on that. That is a world-class donut coming out of there. Yep. So you want, you want, you want you want to let that donut get all the way to the crest. I know it's... It's almost too much to think about, though. And then you lay it on your... If you lay it oh, No, no, down. you got to keep track here. You got one rolling back there. Uh-uh. So you got to... Yeah, yeah, that's right. You got to keep those things going up. There, now you're in the groove. They are hot. People like them real hot right off the cooker. Yeah. But let me tell you... How's that? <laughs> this is insane. This is insane. Nothing beats a warm bag of donuts for the car ride, but I can definitely tell you these will be long gone before I reach Boston, where, believe it or not, I'm going to row on the Charles, I'm going to help a famous local chef reinvent New England cuisine, and I'm going to get to conduct the Boston Pops. I'm not kidding. Count on it.